folks, this is Guitar Flat, and welcome to something I'm excited to play. Organ Trail. So, I picked this up just uh, a little while ago. Oh, that music's really cool. Probably a few days ago, I was on spring break and I was browsing uh, through Steam, and I saw Organ Trail, and at first I thought, Organ Trail? You know, with an E... And I clicked on it, and I was surprised to see, kind of like this image, all these zombies and stuff. And I was like, this is different. <laughs> but still, I was having, you know, elementary school, Apple II computers, nostalgia gasm. And decided that this might be worth trying. I looked at kind of people's, people's commentary, not commentary, people's uh, reviews and comments on it. And uh, things things definitely looked interesting, so I'm gonna try and play play a little organ trail. This first time through, uh, we're just gonna do full full on campaign. We're gonna we're not gonna cut anything out because I want I really want this first run through to kind of give everybody a glimpse of what to what to kind of expect and see in this game. But uh, next time I do if I do another video. Not video, but if I do any more videos of Oregon Trail, we're gonna do, you know, highlight reels. I think might be more appropriate because there's some things that might get a little tedious if I keep doing it you know, on camera. But without further ado, Oregon Trail. I was very excited uh, when I saw that this was gonna be in like an Apple II style like Oregon Trail because I cannot tell you how much Oregon Trail I played. It, when I was a kid, and even like now, I'm running like an Apple. I have an Apple II emulator that'll run that game. Um, I don't even know why teachers let us play Oregon Trail because that that shit ain't educational. <laughs> it is a little bit, but it's you're just shooting buffalo. Uh, we're gonna run on normal difficulty. Okay, so draw the line between the target. So shooting in this is really weird. It's a little bit like Angry Birds. You've got to really, uh... Whoops. You kind of got to line it up. I've I've played it... I've played the game... Two times, just so I'm not a complete derp. Whenever, uh... Whenever I start doing this. I wanted you guys to... Not have to put up with me learning everything from scratch. Man, that guy. Well, I just... Bleh. Well then, it looks like I just saved your bacon. I reckon we better we stand a better chance out there if we stick together. My name is Clements, which by the way is a terrible name, but a very appropriate name for some sort of Bible-thumping, homeless hillbilly guy. Uh, I used to be a priest. Not much use for, the, for those nowadays. I can't read. What's your name? What's my name? I can't type either today. Boom! Pleasure's all mine, Guitar Flat. Yeah, like I'd really be using my YouTube name whenever the flippin' zombie apocalypse happens. Listen, even with the two of us, we won't survive very long. Everyone I trusted died a while back. That is sad, guy. Do you know anyone we could count on? In a pinch. So, what we're gonna do, for the, the crew of flunkies that roll with me, we're gonna run some, uh, some, some YouTubers here. Let's, let's see here. We're gonna have, uh, Falron. Tib. Yummy. And one more. One more. Who should be our last guy? Hmm. We're kind of all madhouse gamery. Oh, I've got it. Whoops. Let's put Akipa in the mix, huh? Done. Are these names correct? Hell yeah. 
All right, there's still a good chance if they're blah, 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 they'll be at the shelter set up in DC. If they have any sense, that is. We're going to need a way to get around. I saw an old station wagon a few blocks back. Those things might not be very reliable, but you'd be surprised at how roomy they are. Anyway, let's get moving. So yeah, what a better way to replace the wagon from Oregon Trail than to have the flippin' a station wagon. So, this is kind of how the hunting setup will be. Because hunting's replaced with scavenging. You'll see. Alright, I think I've got just enough fuel and food for us to make it to DC in this baby. Let's hit the road and I'll drive. Alright, you crazy priest hillbilly homeless guy. So, a lot like the original Oregon Trail. Clements has a broken arm. Clements has dysentery. The these things terrible. But unlike the original Oregon Trail, ba bam, Clements was bitten by a zombie. Oh, and the station wagon's out of fuel. Washington D.C. I don't know what this zombie right here is doing. It's kind of like he's trying to do a Harlem Shake or something, maybe Gangnam Style. Just as the station wagon runs out of fuel, you coast into the city. You can hear a radio blaring in a nearby window. Repeat, all survivors who still remain in Washington, D.C., the government has declared a Class 3 biohazard. Is, like, Class 3 the worst? Or, because, I mean, there are bigger numbers to use. Anyway, in the area, we will be commencing a nuclear strike within a few short hours. Get out while you can. The city is lost. You know, defining the number of hours might be important for people who want to get out, but... Looks like we have a time problem. I'll go look for your friends at the shelter. Meanwhile, you go scavenging some supplies. Okay, wait a minute. This didn't click the first time I played this. Why is he gonna go looking for my friends? Especially since I picked a bunch of YouTubers I know. I... I barely know what they look like in real life. How is he gonna know what my people look like? Hmm. Oh, anyway, uh, I've heard about a place... H how does he know? On the East Coast... West Coast. East Coast, West Coast. That is supposed to have a safe haven from all this chaos. Let's meet back here and head out. Here, take my journal. I've written down everything I know about surviving on the road. It should help you decide what you think we may need on the trip. Alright, homeless guy. So, from my two times playing this game, I learned money is actually important. Because, unlike the original Oregon Trail, where you could just get by with ammo, ammo, ammo. This, this is not, this is not that kind of world. I think this is how I want to do things. Most of the time I can trade up for ammo, but having a decent amount of stud, uh, starting money is a good bet. Feels important, but, you know, feels not urgent. That's something we can buy along the way. Spare parts are also really important for the f fucking station wagon. Alright, our friends join the party, you know. Some Shaun of the Dead and some uh, Zombie Land shenanigans is over here. Now I don't know who this person is. It looks familiar, but I can't place it. Great, everyone's here. There's just one more thing back uh, back there on the road. One of those things bit me. I'm already not feeling too well, and I can't stand the thought of becoming one of them. You're gonna have to put me down. Why don't you keep my journal? It may help you out there. Good luck. Now, now for the most difficult part here, I gotta put down my homeless Christian hermit friend. And let's make it easy and put one in the head. Moment of silence, please, for for, for Clements. <laughs> okay, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> All right. So, a lot like the original Oregon Trail, it's going to be this side scrolly thing. But, unlike the original Oregon Trail, there's a lot of uh, side events that kind of happen. 
kind of choose your own adventure type things and looking at tombstones. Like right here, we got a tombstone. Let's investigate. Here lies Biggs. Treachery is the infecting agent. Now, sometimes when you look at grave sites, you run into zombies, which is which is a little irritating. But easy. Just a waste of bullets. Uh, you aren't sure which way to go. You lose an hour of bickering with Falaron. That does not surprise me. Falaron. Why can't you be in line like everyone else, you know? I know where we're going. We're not in Chicago or any, you know. A rumbling sound comes from behind you. Driving instructions, you know, WASD. Oh, right, so this game has some boss battles. They're, they're kind of random encounters like this. There's one with dogs, there's one with a bear, I think. I've only seen the dogs, this is actually my first time doing this one. But it's not too bad. A lot of the way this game is designed for, I believe, a lot of the way this game controls was intended for, for mobile phones, because I think, I think this is designed for, for, like, your kind of iPhone, originally. And it's just been it's just been ported over to the PC. We survived the attack. That was easy. All right. Why are we in a slow roll? Muffler falls off the station wagon. You replace it from supplies. Pittsburgh. Hey, Tib. You can sh try and show us around what's left of Pittsburgh. I guess you should know how to trade for these hobos, especially the Resident Evil Four guy back there. Guy was my favorite guy in the game. What are you buying? Um, do we need gas? What kind of what kind of situation is in the auto shop? What kind of upgrade we got? Never break batteries. Nah, we do need to replace that muffler. Nah, I've got two. How bad are we doing on the wagon? A repair might be a good idea. We're not low on anything. Now you can take jobs to do stuff. So this might be a decent one to do. Whenever you stop at cities, they're usually jobs and they're, they're little challenge type things. God, get shot! Now, you don't want to be up and get hit. Oh, I missed. Got him. Okay. I know what I'm doing. This is just, this is just like Black Ops. This is just like Black Ops and me using a Hellstorm missile. Miserable. Oh, no! Get shot! There we go. Too high. Damn. Nope. Come on. Nope. What the heck am I doing? Whoops. And got him. Done. Yes. And then you get, you know, what you earned. Now, I'm not quite good at the whole shooting mechanic yet, so... <laughs> trying to do anything harder than normal is a bit difficult for me. And while we're here, I guess we can do the scavenging, because... Oh, well, crap. I didn't realize the zombie activity was deadly. Alright, well, I derped. No biggie. So, fat zombies are a pain, because they take double bullets. Uh, shoot. 
Let's move up here and grab this. And dip and dodge around, yeah! Got all that food. Now we're just gonna run away. So we're in a bad situation. Done! 220 ounces of food and $20. Let's get the heck out of this place.